Hi, thank you so much for checking out my channel. I really do appreciate it. On this episode, I'm gonna install my new Pelican 1750Ks onto my Prinsu rack, which is on my TRD Pro Toyota Tacoma. Now I went with the Pelican case just because they're so durable and I've had so many of these and they've never failed me. If you are looking for a different option though, that's a little bit less expensive, there's a Plano case that's pretty much the same size and half the price. Now for starters, I just made a quick trip over to Home Depot just to get matching bolts and everything from the rack to ensure a good fit. And depending on what you do with your vehicle, I would recommend getting galvanized just for that little extra protection if you are going through storms, you know, a lot of rain, a lot of snow, everything like that. That'll just add a little bit more protection. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I'm kind of just lining it up to where I think it'll fit nice. I'm trying to avoid these little plastic lines and circles that are on the bottom of this case. I want to have it completely flush, but to be honest with you, it's not lining up exactly where I want it to. Unless, you know what, maybe if I move a little bit forward, I mean, it kind of locks into place right here between the wheels and one of those plastic lines. And then that leaves, it's flat here too. So I think this is gonna be my spot and I could, yeah, I think it gives me enough room for the washer and the screw. So this is where, this is where it's gonna live. Now the front's gonna be the easier part to connect to the rack because all you need to do is match the front, the distance from the front to the screw hole or the bolt hole. That's gonna be the easy part, but once that's set, it's gonna be harder to line up the other two holes instead of lining up two, we're gonna be lining up four, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. So after moving this around on the rack to find the perfect spot, I do think I want it flush with the rack itself to kind of avoid those obtrusions, the plastic bits that stick out a little bit. And I'm noticing after doing all these measurements, Pelican almost did it for me. There's these little circle imperfections here that almost line up perfect with how I want it on the rack. And also too, this will allow that it lays perfectly flat on the rack. It's not gonna have, you know, one of these little plastic, uh, little bumps or whatever they're called. There's not gonna have one on one rail and one not on the other. So this will lay it perfectly flush. So I'm just gonna drill holes right at the end of these little dots to get my measurement. So now with the holes drilled, I'm just gonna take these bolts and put them five inches apart from each other because that's how far the holes were drilled. And right now it doesn't 100% matter where it ends up. With this rack, you can slide these pretty easily. So I'm just gonna get the case on, see how it looks and make any adjustments if needed. And then we'll go to the harder part of drilling the back holes. And there you go. Pretty close to perfect, okay, very good. So now the front is on. And yeah, now the fun part, figuring out the back. So now that I have the front fitted, I'm just gonna do some measurements to match the front to the back. I'm just taking, I just, I want this as far to this side of the rack as possible, just to fit some other things, either another case, a solar panel, something like that. So I'm just gonna measure this, make sure the front matches the back, and then I'm gonna try something actually new. I was planning on measuring this all out, but I noticed when I was putting this on, one screw was just a little bit off, but it scratched the bottom of this kind of badly, I'm surprised. I'm thinking I might just put two screws in match the front screws, push down on this, and then drill into the scratches as my marks. Let's see how it works. Now really carefully, I'm just sliding in the screws because I don't want to make any unnecessary scratches. That's going to confuse me. Slowly lift this up and get them to where 
looks good. And I'm actually decided to spread these out a little bit farther than the front ones because the wheels were blocking the front ones so I can fit the washers on. So these I'm going to get right kind of to the end, measure exactly how far so we are even. I'm going to set that down. We look pretty good. Everything is lining up. Like I said, this is kind of the pain part and I don't want to make an extra hole if I don't have to. And give or take, the case is the same distance as the front. So I think we're at the point, I'm just gonna press down really hard and use those marks as my drill points. Okay, and here we go. God, I think it actually worked. Voila, that is actually perfect. Wow, needs to be said. Sometimes I even surprise myself. Wow, very good. So I'm gonna use now these marks to drill my back holes. Just set everything as close as we can to the measurements. Okay, let's try this. Okay, I'm gonna start with the front. Get those as close as I can. That was easier than I thought. Okay, to the back. No way. Oh, that was too easy. I was expecting a montage that to be done there with that going on, but wow. There you go, that's the way to do it. Now we just gotta bolt it down. What I'm gonna use for that, I'm gonna use some washers and some nuts, but I'm gonna go a little overboard on this. Waterproof it, dust proof it the best I can. Again, nothing really important is gonna go in here that'd be ruined by water or dust, but just to make it a little bit easier and just keep things a little bit cleaner, working in better condition, I've done cover with dust. So I'm gonna use the washers and I'm actually gonna put silicone in between them to really seed it and waterproof, dustproof it the best we can. As well as using Loctite 222. This is for bolts, little screws and everything like that. This will just keep it from coming loose with all the vibrations of you driving, off-roading, whatever you may be doing. This just seats it a little bit better, a little bit safer. Thank you again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe as well. We're gonna do some more stuff just on the TRD Pro truck itself. If you wanna be more sad the photography side of what I do, we'll be doing more photography videos real soon. And yeah, just keep in touch with us. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. But yeah, thanks again. Cheers.